Jordi je sais. Nous on est là maintenant. So, how can you buy it again? When there is joy. Please say joy. Joy. When there is peace. Peace. Patience. Patience. Kindness. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Humility. 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 Then you are you're here. You are saying that you are a charismatic. You're not charismatic. You are asthmatic. <laughs> okay. So love. Okay. Love is not. Therefore, love is not based on feelings. Okay. And of course, those men don't do that. Just to prove it. Me, huh? And the positive feelings is good. Okay. Because we people, we are human. We need feelings to to be happy. But in love, we're talking of love. Love is not based on feeling or in our emotion. It is embodied in a committed personal relationship. Okay? It is expressed in care, concern, and service. Okay? Hello? Yes. Huh? It is a matter of will and action empowered by the Holy Spirit. It is a matter of will. It is a decision. It is a decision. Okay? And maybe you don't like the person. Okay? God knows your heart. You cannot pretend before the Lord. Because in Luke 7, even the number of your hairs that are after, they're not to be the Lord. So you cannot hide from Him. You cannot hide from Him your feeling. Okay? But still, you can love the person even if you don't feel liking the person. Because loving and liking are two different words. We will uh, learn about that. No? So love is different from liking the person. You can still love people even if you don't like them. Not everyone for sure you will like them. And you know what? One thing I've learned as well in, in the ministry is this. Or even Christian life. Out of 100 people, out of 100 percent, take note of this so that you will not be disappointed. Out of 100 percent, 25 percent of people around you, of you whom you will bet, will not like you whatever you do. Accept the truth. 25%. 25% can be persuaded. Can be persuaded. 25% they like you or they love you because you love them. Hello? Now why do you love your sister, your brother? Because they love you. <laughs> Because they are complimenting you, they're praising you, they're, they're approving you. How about if they will be opposition to you? Will you still love them? Yes. Then the last 25, so the first 25, no matter what you do, will not love you. Second 25, they can be persuaded. The third 20, the third one, the third 25, okay, they love you. Do you love them because they love you? Or vice versa. And the last 25. This is the only people who will love you, whoever you are, no matter what. And don't forget, your mother is already included there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you want your life to be visible, this is what you can discover. You know, before, I'm, I, I guess my, my first purpose is to serve the Lord, but I'm after pleasing people. I'm after pleasing people. Huh? And you know what? This is what they discover. If you want to become miserable in your own life, try to face <laughs> Try to face To love is to live like Christ. For God is love in one time for it. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. love. Okay, so you see? Whoever. Yes, this is what we talk about the intellectual love, no? the loving God with our mind. We need to move from the intellectual level. Uh, of our love, okay, to the spiritual level, okay, because what the word of God said, whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love, okay, to give yourself, okay, because you know, uh, uh, how did Jesus uh, show his love, he lived with us, he cared us, he fed us, he taught us the truth about the kingdom, he died for us, now what's the meaning of to die for others, because in one, in one John 3, 16, this is how we know what love is, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. If we ought to lay down and we ought to lay down our life 
for our brothers and sisters as well. Okay? Amen? 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 Amen. So he died for us. Okay? You know, in, in, in life, there will always be Judas. There will always be Judas. Okay? The thing with Judas is a blessing. Because Judah, without Judas, no crucifixion. Without crucifixion, no resurrection. Without resurrection, no redemption. That's why we should be thankful to Judas. Hello? But try to think of Judas in your life. Okay? And have that paradigm shift from now on. I will be thankful to Judas. Because without Judas, huh? without Goliath, David will not be in the world. Without his siblings, Joseph will not be in second command in Egypt. Okay? Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 So if you don't have a problem, you, do. you know in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, St. Paul said, there is no suffering that is not common to everyone. So do not think that you are here. Do not, even do not think of that. Remove that self-pity. Self-pity is a sin. Because every time you are in that moment, well, of course, initially, that's fine. But restore, right away, be quick to go back to the Lord. Be quick to go back to His mercy and grace. Rebuke, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. The, the, the feeling of uh, self-pity, uh, anger, shake it off. You shouldn't even stay for a minute in your body. Okay. Amen? Amen. 